So I'm really excited to tell you that the title of this video is not clickbait, and indeed Blender now does real-time displacement for EV. Now I'm going to be looking at an experimental build of Blender, so this is going to be Blender 4.2, and what you're seeing here is real-time displacement. This is this ball over here, and if you go into rendered mode, in seconds, just like that, and you can move around, and this has some pretty high resolution at the moment. You can see the sphere I'm working with here. So I'm gonna show you how to get the build, uh, how to set it up, and we'll be using some free um, materials to do this for the displacement, so you can mess around with it. So uh, if you wanna learn how to do this, keep watching. So I'm gonna put a link in the description to this build of Blender, so the Blender 4.2 Alpha build. So in the description below, you can go ahead and download that and just run it, um, extract the zip file and just run it. And then you can go to the link in the description as well and just download this free uh, material. So it's by default set to 2K and it's a Blender download. You're just gonna download this as a zip folder. Then what you're gonna do is once you have those two zip folders downloaded, you're gonna extract Blender, which I've already done. So Blender 4.2. And um, then you're also going to extract that river pebbles. And then inside of there is the blend file, which we'll work with in a second. So let's go ahead and run Blender 4.2. And once you have Blender 4.2 open up, let's grab this default cube, tab into edit mode and right click, just go subdivide and let's go to our subdivision tab. Let's give it something like 12 and let's go down here and let's go shift alt and S and just round this out. Now let's tab back out, right click and go shades move. Let's just quickly go to our modifiers, click on add modifier and let's just go sub and get a subdivision surface modifier. So if you now have on your download somewhere that extracted um, river pebbles blend file, which I've already done, you can just go file and then go append. In this case, it's in my downloads, So I'm gonna to go to downloads and then I'm gonna to go to the river pebbles 2K I'm going to click on that blend file inside of there and then just go down to the materials. Click on it and inside of there you can see your material. So River Pebbles, I'm going to click on that and go append. Now let's simply click on our sphere. Let's go to our materials, come to the drop down and give it that River Pebbles material. And now we can go over to our renderer and in the 4.2 build of alpha build of Blender, you're gonna to go to render engine and you're gonna see that there is something called EV Next. You're gonna go ahead and click on that. And now let's go Shift A. Let's go to our light options, add in an area light. G, Z, move it up and let's just give that under our light properties a strength of 120. So now if we go Z and we go rendered, Look at this, we got displacement. How cool is that? And obviously it's displacing because this material, if you quickly go to your shading, you can see it comes with a displacement. And in fact, let's just quickly come over here, Z and go into our rendered view. Let's come over here to the displacement under this material and just under the um, scale, let's just drag that up a little bit so we get a bit more scale. And now let's go over to our modifier and let's go to the viewport level and just bump it up. And amazingly, um, if you go into wireframe and you turn off optimal display, you can see you can make this quite dense. So let's take it up really dense, then go Z and then go rendered. And in real time, it has absolutely no problem whatsoever dealing with that sort of topology. So let's go back to our layout. And here we have it, real time displacement in Blender. So I'm gonna go ahead, just duplicate the light. Just have it coming from a few different directions. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed this Blender 4.2 Blender EV Next tutorial, whatever you want to call it, with real-time displacement. I think this is absolutely fantastic. And to whoever made this or the team of people who made this, I'd like to say a big thank you. And this is another good reason why it's so important to support the Blender community and the developers because this stuff is truly awesome. I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial.